Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Today I thought it would be interesting to talk about what I personally dislike about being a lawyer. Now I guess this would be part two of the video that I made a while ago that was called Should You Become a Lawyer? If you haven't watched it yet, I will uh, link to it somewhere. And in that video, I talked about things that were, I guess, a little more objective. I talked about salary, I talked about cost of education, but in this video, I'm going to talk about things that I personally do not like about being a lawyer. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Aisha, I'm a lawyer and I'm an entrepreneur and I make videos about the law, about becoming a lawyer, entrepreneurship, productivity and a bunch of other things. A little disclaimer before we start, because I know that some people are, are going to talk about this. I really do love my job as a lawyer, I am very grateful that I get to do this job, but I actually think that we should normalize talking about things that we dislike or even despise about our jobs because then we can help people who want to enter the field actually make enlightened decisions and not go into a field just because they have a glamorized view of what the job actually is. And obviously I will be making a part two about what I love about being a lawyer, so stay tuned for that. So the first thing that I really dislike about being a lawyer is how stressful it is. And I have spoken about this um, in previous videos and obviously this is not a surprise. For anyone. Whenever we talk about lawyers, we often talk about how uh, high stress of a job it is. B because it really is. And it's a stressful job for many reasons. One, it's a job where you always feel responsible for anything and everything that happens. Your professional liability is always at risk, and obviously we have insurance and stuff, but still, your, pro your professional liability is always at risk. And it's a job where you feel like regardless of the outcome, whether it is good or whether it is bad, and whether or not you have control over uh, the outcome, it's always going to be your fault. And when I was scripting this video, I actually stumbled upon a tweet that I thought was, uh, was really interesting, where they were saying that, you know, basically being a lawyer is just being paid to take on someone else's stress, and it is absolutely true. It's also a very stressful job because it's, it's very demanding, and it is demanding regardless of the field that you work in. Thank God I personally do not litigate, so I, I don't go to court because I think I would be... I, I don't think I could survive going to court and litigating. My stress levels would just be through the roof. So I've managed to avoid stress that comes from litigation, but it doesn't mean that I don't live stress or I, that I don't help people go through very stressful situations. And I'll make... I, I know a lot of people ask me what I actually do for a living. I'll make a separate video about that, but just a short answer, I work with creatives, so I work with people who are in the fashion industry, in the tech industry, entertainment, visual arts, and I, I love what I do for creatives, I love working with creatives, but oftentimes I do end up having to handle very stressful situations, whether it's a designer who um, decides that he doesn't want to work with his business partners anymore, an artist who breaks up with his record label, with his management team, scandals, uh, dealing with business acquisition deals, people who call you because they need a contract the next day. Um, so e even if I don't litigate, I do end up having to deal with some very stressful situations, a lot of last minute stuff, and even though I have managed to avoid as much as possible last minute work, sometimes you just don't have a choice. And also, I said I love my clients, and I absolutely do, but sometimes clients can be very demanding. I think a big part of my job is just managing expectations, to be honest with you. And with very demanding clients comes um, the feeling that you always need to be perfect, or at least very close to perfection, and as you can imagine, that does absolutely nothing for my anxiety. The second thing that I don't like about being a lawyer is the hours. And when I say the hours, I don't just mean working long hours. I think that since becoming a lawyer, my conception or my perception of time has changed a lot and I actually think um, being a lawyer has messed up how I see time. And I'll, I'll give you a very simple example. I wake up every single day, ex except on the weekends, but weekdays, every single day I wake up around 4.30 a.m. Now, yes, I do enjoy waking up very early. I actually have a love-hate relationship with what, you know, becoming a lawyer has done with my perception of time, but, but we can talk about that in another video. But one of the main reasons why 
I wake up so early is because I feel like if I don't wake up at 4.30 a.m., I just don't have enough time to do everything that I need to do in a single day. Let's say I wake up at a normal time, I work out, eat breakfast, I start to work at a normal time. By 10.30, I'll start thinking to myself, the day is almost over. And I'm saying it out loud and I'm fully aware of how ridiculous it sounds. Obviously at 10.30 a.m. the day is nowhere near being over. Um, and yes, anxiety is a big part of it, but I think that the way that we treat time as lawyers and also just the sheer amount of work that needs to be done in a single day, all of those things have led me to believe that there is no way that I can be productive if I don't wake up at 4.30 a.m. Yeah, there, there, there's not much I can do about that. Another reason why I do not like being a lawyer, and this is not so much um, being a lawyer as, you know, the field itself, it's a very outdated field. And I, I, I want to say there are many, many lawyers who are doing really creative, really innovative things, but it is really, really hard to be innovative in a field that is outdated. I still encounter a lot of very archaic practices and ways of doing things that I think are absolutely appalling and it, it just infuriates me. And I will give you a very simple example. When I was articling, I was articling at a, um, an IT company a few years ago and I remember the lawyer who was supervising my internship asked me to send this lawyer an email and so I did. I sent her an email and 10 minutes later, 15 minutes later, I receive a fax. She had replied to my email by fax. So this woman, this woman opened my email. She read through it. She typed up an answer to my email. She printed that answer and she faxed it to me. That Honestly, that is one of the weirdest things I have ever seen in my entire life. Or another thing that I used to find really annoying when I used to go to court, whenever you would want to see a file, you would have to take this little piece of paper that they would provide you with and you would have to take a little pen and just write down by hand the file number and give it to them and then they would give it to another person and then they would give it to another person and then that person would go and bring the file and then they would give you back your little paper and it was just, it, like, this made no sense. So yeah, a lot of very archaic practices and um, behaviors. Things are changing slowly, but still, it, it's still a very outdated field. And the last thing that I really do not like about being a lawyer is that people do not like lawyers. And when I say people do not like lawyers, I mean that lawyers to this day still have a very bad rep. And honestly, I, I don't really care what people think about me. But whenever someone says something about how lawyers are awful or how lawyers are all crooks, I feel the need to say something because I know so many wonderful lawyers and most lawyers are absolutely wonderful and do, a lot of them do work that I would never be able to do in a million years. But society's perception of lawyers is really bad. So Leisure Marketing, which is a survey firm here in Quebec, every single year they do this survey where they ask people which professionals are the most trustworthy, or at least which professionals people think are the most trustworthy. They do this every single year. And I, I, I will actually link to this year's survey uh, in the description below. And I think, I think on the list of like 50 professionals, lawyers are in 36th position out of 50 in terms of trustworthiness. It's not horrible, but it also isn't great. And if you actually look at the survey in terms of percentage, only 49% of people think that lawyers are trustworthy. Half of the population doesn't think lawyers are trustworthy. This is a survey, but to be honest, it really is something that you feel whenever you, or whenever I at least, meet clients who have never dealt with lawyers before, when I meet clients who have never dealt with, with a lawyer before but they've heard from other people that they've only had shady experiences with lawyers, um, whenever I go to networking events, I'll, I'll, I'll meet professionals who have never worked with a lawyer in their life and they will say, oh my god, you must be this and you must be that and the field must be this and the field must be that. This is partially our fault. And obviously, I, I don't think that, you know, one 
person's behavior should be generalized and applied to uh, an entire profession, but this is what's happening and I think that obviously we need to we need to work towards making people trust us more to make sure that people don't think that we are all shady but it is really frustrating when you go to a networking event and you meet with a professional who has never dealt with a lawyer before and the first thing they ask you is oh so you like to defend criminals Obviously, you shouldn't choose whether or not you want to be a lawyer based on what people think about lawyers, but I do think that this is something that future law students and future lawyers need to be aware of. So that's it. Those were the four things that I do not like about being a lawyer. Obviously, there are many more things that I love about being a lawyer, and I will make a video about all the things that I absolutely adore. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye!